be on your second practicum uh, kidney model. All right. So the small intestine and the kidney, that's these are the only ones. Okay, so two stations, one station for that, one station for this. Um, this is the uh, kidney and from the outside in you have the capsule <clears throat> and cortex and then you have the medulla and then you have the pelvic region so um, blood vessels coming in these are the uh, segmental arteries and then here you have the inter interlobar arteries and then you round off as RQA at the base of the pyramids. These are the cortical radiates. Okay, so um, RQA, cortical radiate. This is afferent arterial, glomerular uh, capillaries, deferent arterial. Um, Whatever is up here would be the peritubular capillaries and then whatever goes down here would be the vasa recta. This is afferent arterio. You can always tell afferent arterio from the efferent. This one has a larger lumen. It also would have the macular denser cells on it. That's what this is. Okay. And glomerular capillaries, the gray uh, item on it with these these are the supposed to be the podocytes this is the glomerular capsule this is the capsular space this is the first first part of the nephron and then followed by the um, proximal convoluted tubule these are simple squamous cells out here simple cuboidal with tall microvilli and then over here, um, afferent arterio. This is efferent arterio. These would be the uh, extracellular, sorry, extra glomerular uh, mesangial uh, cells. Okay, the ones that would mediate between the uh, macular denser cells and the uh, uh, <clears throat> glomerular cells. So uh, glomerular cells would be in here and these would be the macular uh, denser cells at the distal convoluted tubule. So, um, okay, uh, afferent arterio, glomerular capillaries, these would be the uh, podocytes, um, glomerular capsule here, simple squamous cells making the wall. This is the proximal convoluted tubule. These are the cuboidal cells with the tall microvilli, color-coded with this one and that one. So these are all parts of the uh, proximal convoluted tubule. And then the distal convoluted tubule would be the uh, purple. Okay, And then the yellow one is the collecting duct, right? <clears throat> is, is this two nephrons on here? Two separate nephrons? Yeah, these two. And then... Uh, and they both go into the same collecting tubule? Yeah, the collecting tubule can receive... Um, um, well, they can hook up to distal convoluted tubules of several nephrons. These are the pyramids. Um, Metary uh, columns or renal columns between the pyramids. <clears throat> and uh, this is the uh, renal papilla or papilla of the pyramids. Uh, once upon a time, your textbook referred to these as apex of the pyramids. The 
actual funnel that's leaf around each one of these would be the minor calyx. Okay, each of these is a minor calyx. They would converge onto larger funnels, those are the major calyces. <coughs> and then the final large funnel is the uh, renal pelvis. Continuation of that is a ureter. Um, all the glomeruli are in the cortex. These knobby things represent the renal corpuscles. Renal corpuscle has two parts, glomerular capsule and the glomerular capillaries. Okay, so that's how you deal with these ones.